right now here at Sheboygan, it's 900 overcast. It's 500 overcast over at Mackinac Island. It's all forecasted to lift, but in my experience with this low morning scud, it doesn't leave when it's forecasted. Uh, we're gonna be departing runway 28, and I would say we need approximately five minutes. Stand by for your Standing by. And we're gonna hit load and activate, but we're gonna maintain our heading for now. I'm going on autopilot. Mackinac Island traffic, Skyhawk 809991 is approximately 10 miles to the west of the field on the Arnav runway 8. Will be a full stop. Mackinac Island, we're at 2,500. It felt like we were underdressed and in the wrong time period. It was so gorgeous. I'm Josh, a pilot and flight instructor who loves the sky, sharing it with those around me and using it to see the world from a new perspective. Flying can seem super complex, but I make it my mission to promote safe practices while enjoying the beauty this world has to offer. Subscribe to Climb Into the Cockpit on future adventures. This is Aviation 101. Eight, zero, nine, nine, one, New Orleans, square, square to the uh, Foley Airport via Asphalt on departure, maintain 2,000. We're in northern Michigan enjoying some relaxation amongst the lush scenery with our good friends Wayne and Cindy. In part three, Chelsea and I departed Oshkosh after a long week of presenting, socializing, and just soaking up the vibes at the greatest aviation celebration of all time. We followed the shore of Lake Michigan, pressed the big red button to test out the emergency Garmin Smart Glide, and enjoyed the views while the autopilot carried us all the way to Sheboygan, where we've spent the last couple of rainy days with Wayne and Cindy exploring their hometown. Wayne is the host of the ATOP Jet course at both American Airlines and Jet Blue, and filming those courses is actually how I ended up meeting him, and him and his wife Cindy have become great friends to us over the years. While the rain has let up here in northern Michigan, the clouds are not lifting like they were forecasted to. We've already checked out of our hotel room and have been dropped off by Wayne at the Sheboygan Airport. The plan is to make the scenic VFR flight 15 nautical miles across the water to Mackinac Island, but the 900-foot overcast ceiling is going to force us to make a decision. Welcome to part four. We've got the plane all packed up, and the next plan is to head to Mackinac Island. We're already delayed one day going to Mackinac Island. We're still on schedule for kind of what we planned for the trip. Our time at Mackinac Island is squeezed down a little bit. We have another problem. We're running into some weather. Right now, here at Sheboygan, it's 900 overcast. It's 500 overcast over at Mackinac Island. It's all forecasted to lift, but in my experience with this low morning scud, it doesn't leave when it's forecasted. So we're gonna go IFR, 14 nautical miles. <laughs> and it is so thin, and it's kind of spotty. And I can see blue sky that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a like, little bit that way, but it's just. It's not thick. And you <laughs> like, can see through this almost. You can almost see through it, but it would not Same. be legal for us to go. And we would totally be scud running. Yeah. If we tried to just jump VFR over to Mackinac, we'd be entering the pattern right up against the clouds. We're not and doing that. And below pattern altitude. And we'd be below. We're not doing that. That's yeah. that's irresponsible, stupid. The overcast base is currently giving us is 500 at Mackinac. Mm -hmm. And the minimums for the approach there is 340. So we'll have a little, we won't be breaking out at minimums. And hopefully by the time we get in the plane, finish pre-flight. We'll come up a little bit. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be on the rise. So I already filed the flight plan with four flight. Uh, it's an ICAO general aviation IFR mm -hmm. flight plan. I put two souls on board departing basically now. Okay. I'm going to finish the last bit of my coffee. We'll take a bathroom break, quick pre-flight, call Minneapolis center on the phone, pick up our clearance. It's really straightforward. It's the same thing on the radio. You just not as rigid they're like, they're like hello <laughs> and then you just tell them your tail number and hey we're on the ground at Sheboygan picking up our IFR to Mackinac Island they'll look it up up ah, there it is okay you're clear to Mackinac Island via upon entering controlled airspace fly heading blah 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 climb and maintain blah 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 to right. Mackinac to Mackinac run up okay pre-taxi it is AWOS received we've got an altimeter 2999 and cross-checked avionics programmed I keep feeling a tickle on my foot oh that's <gasps> oops at a tick? Yeah. I'm glad you caught that. Jeez. Would have been latched on. Probably like 18 more in my shoe. <laughs> AGT's stabilized carb temps on the rise back in. Any help with standard flight data? Hey, this is Skyhawk November 809991 on the ground on the ground at Sheboygan. I'd like to pick up our IFR to Mackinac Island. There it goes. Uh, Sheboygan, Sierra Lima Hotel to Mackinac. Uh, what runway and how long do you need? Uh, we're going to be departing runway 28, and I would say we need approximately five minutes. Stand by for your clearance. Standing by. CTC clears number 809901 from the Sheboygan Airport to the Ma uh, Mackinac Airport via direct WACMA, then I filed. Climb and maintain 3000, contact Minneapolis Center 134.6, squawk 42, 
1-4, clearance for destroyer by 1-4-1-8, time now is 1-4-1-2. Okay, we're clear to the Mackinac Island Airport via direct WACMA, then as filed. Gonna maintain 3000, departure 134.6, squawk 4214-1418, Zulu, on the void time, 991. November 8099-1, read back is correct, have a good flight, thanks. Okay, appreciate it. All right, three four point six. We're squawking. We're ready for departure. You ready? Yes. Sheboygan traffic. Skyhawk eight zero nine nine one is departing runway two eight IFR. Sheboygan. There are a lot of geese in this area. Be on the lookout. I just saw one back there. Okay. Or a couple. Okay. Takeoff power is set. Better than twenty three hundred RPM. Airspeed's alive. Low pressure looks great. Cylinders look great. There's fifty knots. There's sixty. Off and climbing by the runway there. Audio, Sheboygan. Until next time. Minneapolis Center, Skyhawk, November 809-901, just departed Sheboygan IFR, direct WACMA, climbing through 1,400. Number 809-901, Minneapolis Center, uh, roger that. And, um, do you want a vector outside of WACMA, or you want direct Zymon for the uh, r approach? We could direct, take direct Zymon, 809-901. 809 Roger, leaving um, 2,900 for direct time on the RDF-8. Leaving 2,900 direct time on 809 And um, you have plan on the RDF-8? All right, we'll plan on the RDF-8. We'll let you know when we have the weather, and we do have all those notams, 809 All right, slight change. We're going to change transitions to Zymux, and we're going to hit load and activate, but we're going to maintain our heading for now. I'm going on autopilot. Look at how thin this layer is. Yeah, we're about to be on top. I'm going to go to Waypoint here and put in Unicom for Mackinac Island into COM 1, 122.7. And he's going 901, you got a radar contact 6 west of the Palm to Morgan Airport. 809901, position checks. Okay, let's brief this approach. We're going to Zymux. Outside of Zymux, it's 2,500. Between Zymux and Wakma is what I meant, 2,500. Then after Wakma, we can step it down to 2,400 until we hit the final Remember approach fix. Nub key. Then we can take it down to 1,240 feet to Jupib. Uh, 47, I believe. And then we can take it down to our minimum descent altitude, which is 1,080. So our minimums are 1,080. I'm gonna set 1,080. Barrow minimums. So it'll announce minimums when we get down to that altitude. This is a step down approach according to the approach plate because it is an LP. But we should get an advisory glide path on the HSI or on the G3X here. We're not cleared for the approach, but he did give us permission to fly the path from Zymux to Wakma. Center 809901, just wanted to verify that we are cleared to turn direct WACMA after uh, Zymix. Zymix. 809901, yep, looks good, and now uh, you're cleared for the RNAV 8 approach Mackinac Island Airport. Okay, clear for the RNAV runway 8 into Mackinac 809901. Okay, that traffic five, five, two, eight, just six, popped three, up. Better contact uh, two south of the uh, Mackinac Island Airport. Okay, we're uh, cleared. We'll give you a different turn there. Uh, you're cleared direct to uh, Bravo Black Hotel at this time. Okay, direct Bravo Echo Hotel right now, uh, to you, Victor, thank you very much. Turning direct to Wakma. I'm going to set the altitude bug to 2500, and we're going to step it down, at or above 2500 to Wakma. Wow, look at how blue that is. Gorgeous. Michigan is absolutely and now we got beautiful. And one, one, contact, it is. Okay, we're level 2500. Arm approach mode. And now the autopilot is ready to capture the glide path. Water. We're leaving a rainbow on the clouds below. Really? Yeah. Oh 900 Alpha Delta, turn additional 50 to the left just to help you get down when you're clear. Lower and approximately at four minutes. 15 more left, 900 Alpha Delta. Gorgeous. I know we've both worked really hard, but yeah, we are still really lucky. We are really lucky. This is really pretty. Zero nine nine one advisors are approved. You can uh, call me in the air to camp on this frequency. Otherwise, do flight data if you don't have that number advised. We have the number for flight data, and we'll cancel in the air with you if we can. Otherwise, we'll call. We'll switch to advisory nine nine one. All right, we're cleared off center frequency. 
and crossing Walkman now. Autopilot is turning us in. 122.7, we are on the correct frequency. Mackinac Island Airport. Automated weather observation. One, four, two, eight, Zulu, weather, wind, zero, seven, zero, at four, visibility, one, zero, ceiling, niner, hundred, overcast, temperature, one, six, Celsius, dew point, one, five, altimeter, three, zero, zero, zero. Mackinac Island traffic, Skyhawk, eight, zero, niner, niner, one, is approximately one, zero miles to the west of the field on the Arnav runway eight will be a full stop, Mackinac Island. We're at 2,500. Inbound Cessna at Mackinac, this is Aero 07 Lima. Just circling the island at about 2,400. Just above the cloud base, we'll be looking for you. And then also landing on runway eight after I circle the island. Mackinac. Roger that, we'll keep an eye out for you. We're gonna be going into IMC here in just a few minutes. Waiting on the glide path to come active. That diamond waiting for it to come off to stop and, and start coming down. And it's marked with a G. Yep, marked with a G, that's the glide path. And on our autopilot scoreboard, autopilot master is engaged, it has the flight controls. It's flying a GPS track and it's current, currently holding our altitude at 2500. The glide path is grayed out, it's armed. So it's waiting to capture the glide path and it will automatically start the descent. Pre-landing checklist, brakes pedal test. Lights are on, pedo heat's on. Autopilot, we're gonna keep it on for this approach and we'll disengage it for landing. Seatbelt, shoulder harnesses, you're strapped in. Yep. Car repeat, bringing it on. Fuel selector, on both. Rolling the power back so we can get inside 85 knots. I have the airport in sight. Yes. And flaps, we're gonna drop the first notch once we get inside 85, and we'll maintain an approach speed of 75. Autopilot has captured the glide path. Mackinac Island traffic, Skyhawk 80991 is five miles to the west. Descending out of 2,500, just intercepted the glide path for runway eight, and will be a full stop, runway eight, Mackinac Island. We have the traffic ahead of us circling the airport in sight. 500. 500 AGL. I think we've got good spacing. Minimums, minimums. Autopilot off. Mackinac Island traffic, Skyhawk 80991, short final runway eight. Full stop, Mackinac. He's going to the end. One, 1,000. 2,000, 3,000, flap set 20. In Mackinac, there's some Lima, clear of runway 8, Mackinac. All right, he's down and clear. 60 knots, power to idle. Bleed the energy here. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Little balloon there. That was a great landing, babe. Thank you. Pretty little terminal and ramp. Yeah. Mackinac Island traffic, Skyhawk 80991 is clear of the runway, Mackinac. Welcome to Mackinac Island. It's a pretty approach. Minneapolis Center flight data. Hi, this is Skyhawk November 809991. Canceling IFR, we're down on the runway at Mackinac Island. Hey, November 809991, IFR canceling short seat at Mackinac Island. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Yay! Uh, avionics did great, as I expected. Autopilot did great, kept us right on the approach. We did call and cancel IFR, so their search and rescue is not gonna come looking for us off the shore of Mackinac Island. She called ahead and there's a horse and carriage on its way up here to pick us up. There are no cars on this island. Um, no, no cars whatsoever. So we're gonna go into the FBO and await our horse and carriage and then that will take us into town, grab some bicycles and then we'll ride across the island and just Enjoy it, enjoy the scenery, have some fun, maybe go on a couple of little side hikes. It'll be a good day here at Mackinac Island. So what we're gonna do later today is, we've already got our paperwork filed. We need to call Canadian Customs, which I'm probably gonna do here in just a little bit, and tell them, hey, we're departing Mackinac at this time, we're landing in Collingwood at this time. Anyways, we're gonna lock up the plane here and head into the FBO, pay our $10 landing fee, and uh, await our horse and carriage. Welcome to Mackinac Island, Michigan. The carriage picked us up at the FBO as well as the people who landed right before us and we all rode into town through the forest. With no cars or gas powered vehicles on the island, the peace and serenity is almost deafening. And the sights, sounds, and smells of all of this truly takes you for a ride back in time. 
Much like most of North America, this 2,800 acre island was a long time home to indigenous people, in this case the Ottawa people, before the British colonization in the 17th century. Mackinac Island holds its own spot in history during the American Revolution as well as the War of 1812, and soon thereafter became a popular summer colony and tourist destination, leading up to present day. As we emerged from the woods, the preserved time period showed its colors in the stately 19th century Victorian homes, leading right up to the Victorian Grand Hotel. Fun fact, a couple of classic movies were filmed right here on Mackinac Island in 1947, This Time for Keeps, and then in 1980, Somewhere in Time, actually filmed right here at the Grand Hotel. We paid the carriage driver and hopped out in the middle of downtown where there were actually a lot of people out enjoying the beautiful day. There are two ways to get onto the island, by air as you've seen, and by a ferry that runs several times a day from the mainland. Not only do people come across on the ferry, but horses and animals as well. I'm a big fan of Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs, and I actually recently saw that he did an episode on Mackinac Island and how the maintenance and upkeep of the horses operate on this island. That being said, your primary mode of transportation once you're on the island is either going to be a horse or a bicycle. The only gas-powered vehicles here are the island's emergency response vehicles. We did see some lawn crews using gas-powered mowers, but they load and unload them from trailers hooked to their bicycles. We've scouted out a couple of bike rental places just on this block right here, so with that in mind, food is first. Take me where your river flows I want to drive on your open road like the wilderness where we are born singing whoa It's a nine mile bike ride around the perimeter of the island and on a tandem bike, which admittedly took about a mile to get the hang of, we completed the loop in about an hour and a half with a bunch of stops and taking our time to absorb the beauty. I turned back to Chelsea at one point and said, I'm glad you're not one of these people that says you're pedaling yet puts her feet up on the bars. And right as I said that, we rounded the corner and witnessed that exact situation, complete with matching t-shirts. Needless to say, we overtook the poor guy since we had twice the horsepower. We dropped the bike back off at the rental shop after about two hours of moseying around the island, and instead of summoning a horse and carriage to take us back to the airport, we decided to grab some ice cream cones and make the 30-minute stroll through the woods instead. Mackinac Island, for anyone, whether you come by a sea or airplane, on a ferry or whatever. It is a absolute must-see, must-book visit. It's one of my favorite places I've ever been. So beautiful. Like it, Josh and I looked at each other and we were like, this feels like a dream. The flowers, the people, it was just the, Ho the horse, horses. Horses and carriages and just bicycles. and so stately and pristine and beautiful and perfectly manicured. It felt like we were underdressed and in the wrong time period. It was so gorgeous. I would love to visit again. Maybe we can make it a post Oshkosh tradition. That would be really cool. Post Oshkosh, come to Mackinac Island. That would be awesome. You gotta book rooms here well in advance. We stayed in Sheboygan. This was just a day trip for us, but honestly, three or four hours on the island, I feel like we got a pretty good experience. It took we, an hour and a half to go yep. all the way around on a bicycle. We rode a carriage into town. We biked around the entire island, which is nine miles. Ate and lunch then we in town. walked from downtown all the way to the airport, all within three hours. Ate lunch, got ice cream. The beauty of today and how amazing our experience on Mackinac Island was will probably set in with me tonight after we have cleared customs and we are in Canada and hanging out with our friends Annie and Marcus. So we're about to take off out of Mackinac Island and fly 38 nautical miles north IFR across the Canadian border and clear Canadian customs for the first time in my life and in your in life. My life yeah. We've never been to Canada before. The Top of the plane. Continues. That's right, it continues. <laughs> Let's get in the plane. In the next episode, we're gonna have to hop on the phone and solve some unforeseen logistical problems with Canadian customs before we could cross into Canada. We'll behold some of the most beautiful lake shores I have ever seen and hang with our friends Annie and Marcus in rural Ontario for what we thought would only be two days. Sometimes it's pretty nice to be stuck right where you are. All of that will be in part five. Be sure to like this video if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next episode of this 45-day, 5,000-mile trip. 
Until next time, everyone, you know the drill. I want you to stay happy, healthy, current, but most importantly, stay proficient. We'll see you in part five right here on Mackinac Island. Fly safe.